Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to give you a complete run through on the Liberty for Consignment Item Entry app. This is the app that allows you to enter items remotely uh, via the iPad. This works on all versions of the iPad and uh, it's a great way for users and store owners to enter items directly into your Liberty database. It will work whether it's in within your store or whether you're at a remote location. So um, today we're going to do it on the new iPad, the one that was released about a little over a week ago, and we're just going to run through it. The first screen that appears is a login screen, and we're basically are just going to log in here. And now that the system has verified that we are an actual user, um, it will bring up an account list screen. Now there are no accounts here. This works a little bit differently than the desktop version. You actually have to start entering information that you're searching for before a list will appear. So for instance, uh, if I type in the word Smith, wait a second, and all of a sudden it will show all the Smiths that are currently in the system. Now it's not looking by last name, it's just trying to find anything with the word Smith in it. If Smith was a city, first name, last name, or even a user field, it will display that uh, account on the screen here. Now just to give you some background on the demo, this is actual live data uh, from one of our stores. We are running the iPad off of a wireless connection within our building, which is pretty much the only way to do this. Um, it's running on one of our servers in-house, and uh, there's approximately 7,000 consigners in this database. So it's a pretty hefty system with a lot of records, so you're getting a really good accurate idea of how fast the system is working, or can work for you. So I can kind of browse the, uh, the Smiths. Uh, I only see about you know, 10 or so here. So from here we can sort by first name or last name. Um, but in this case I'm just going to go back to account number. And if I want to then look up and go directly into that account, I just basically click on the, on the account number there. Once we're in the account uh, client details screen, there's a couple of things that you'll see here. First of all, you'll see the client's available items. Now this does not show sold items or sold and not paid. Currently it only shows available items. It lists them in descending order or basically chronologically last. So uh, you'll see that the last item that we entered is an Arizona hat, whatever that is, and the Gap short sleeve shirt. Once you're in the screen, you can also click on the top menu here. You can email an item list if you'd like to, which will take all their available items and email it to them. You can filter it by date. Excuse me, you can filter it by item number. I click on that. You can choose a selection of the items from and through, and then it will email them that item list. You can also add item, and you can also edit the client. If I click on the Edit Client area, it will bring up the information for that consigner and then I can click into any of the fields, edit that information, and then submit it back to the server. We can also email that person by clicking on the email button. That will just bring up the in-house or the in-iPad uh, uh, email um, program. We can also click on the map and that will give us a, a, a Google map version of 100 Elm Street in Fonda, Iowa, which I don't even know if that's probably not a real city and, and so forth. However, it does show it so that in case you wanted to see exactly where this client lives, you can click on that. Let's see what else is up here. Uh, you can add item, which there's another, you can, uh, there's another button on the screen there. Now that I have brought up her screen, we can then go into the add item function. If I click on the little box there, it will come back and show me a tree view of my categories that are currently active in the store. If I wanted to look at the top 20 categories, I can flip over and look at that view. 
and the system will automatically figure out exactly what your top categories are in the store. So that's a nice way to jump to a category rather quickly. In this case, I'm going to go back to the tree view. I'm going to choose men's apparel, outerwear, and then hat. It then goes to the server and retrieves all the attributes and attribute values for that particular category. Once the attribute values are populated, it will show us the top 20 brands, top 20 colors, top 20 sizes. If none of those are, at, are applicable to this particular product, we can click on all attributes and then enter that information directly. So in this case, I have a Resale World hat we're going to enter. And we click that. It's a size medium. And it's red. Notice when I typed RE, it looked for any occurrence of the letters RE. That way it will find basically any type of value very quickly. Once I've selected my attribute values, it will then move over to the price entry area. Now this screen will show us any history, uh, sales history of that item and give us a graph. Unfortunately we don't have any red hats sold, but if we did, a graph would appear showing us the price trend for that particular category, brand, and so forth. In this case I'm just going to enter a price directly. I can use the slider down here or I can just enter it directly into the price field. Once I'm done, I just hit your next. After we enter the price, it will come over to the description area. It will then auto-populate the title for us, and in this case, it's a Resale World Medium Red Hat, which is identical to how it works onto the, on the desktop version, where it auto-populates the title for us. At this time, we can now enter a description for that item. Now, the nice thing about the new iPad is that there's voice dictation is built in. Apple probably uses the same technology as it does with Siri, which is available on the 4S. I've used the voice dictation over the past week and it works quite well. We're going to try it now. Of course it's not going to work for me, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> this is a great looking hat, period. I'm sure it will fit most men. So, as you can see, it worked pretty well. Uh, it was actually 100% accurate, which is great. Um, the nice thing about it is if it wasn't accurate, you can basically click on words, uh, change it, as you can see there. Um, you can edit, just like you do any other paragraph and so forth, with the iPad editor, which works pretty well. But in this case, it's great, so you don't have to type the words and so forth. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some pictures. Okay, so there are two ways you can attach photos to an item. First you can use the camera button, which means that it will basically use the camera that is built into the iPad. If I click on the camera at this point, a little viewfinder will appear on the screen and then I can take a picture. The other way is to just use the library. If you had previously already taken photos of items uh, around the store, you can then just select library. If you click on the camera, it will then show what's in your camera roll at this point. Now I took some pictures earlier and I can just select one of those pictures or I can select as many as I want. So if I want to use that one or that one, so now I've used all three photos that were taken previously. If I decided I didn't want to use one of those photos, I can just hold down on the thumbnail, delete the image, or move it down, and that will reorder the images for you, and that's how they will upload to your server. To use the camera, it's just as easy as to use the library. So I click on the camera button, and I'm going to pick up the iPad for a second here and put down a red hat in its place so that we can show you how that works.
So I have my red hat here that I'm going to try to prop up here so everybody can see. I click on the camera icon and you'll see sorry if it's going to be out of focus this won't take too long. Okay. So I took two really close up shop shots of that hat just so I can get uh, just to give you an example of, of how the camera function works. So now I have five images and I'm pretty much ready to upload that image. Now a lot of you know that there's other fields and so forth that could be associated with an item. You can find that those fields on the extended screen. So if you want to change the purchase method you can just click on that. If you'd like to change the date received, price, cost, retail price, and so forth, you can do that as well. And in this case, we are sending the item up to the Sh our ShopRW site. And again, you can see the rest of the fields here that you're all familiar with. Now that I'm done with pretty much everything, I can save my item. So it sends the item information to the server and asks us if we'd like to add another item. Now in this case we have five images and these five images are using the maximum, maximum pixel resolution for the new iPad which is five megapixels. So those are pretty heavy images. So in this case what the app does is it actually will queue these images for us. You don't really want to wait here for possibly five, six minutes to add another item. So I'm going to say yes, I'd like to add another item. Now if you notice though at the top of my screen here, there's a little circular uh, timer going off. That is showing us that it is uploading images to our server. So rather than waiting around, you can now start to enter your next item. So I'm going to add another shirt here, or I should say an additional item, we'll call it a shirt. And in this case I'll just put some defaults here so we can move on. This is a great looking shirt. And there you have it. That's pretty much how fast it takes to enter an item with the item entry app. It's pretty cool. Um, so let's go on to some of the other features. Once you finish adding your items, you can just say done. Then it will ask if you'd like to print the items that you just added. So in other words, it's uh, saying, how would you, would you like to print an item list? So if I said yes to this, it will bring up my, excuse me, I said item list. I meant to say tags. Um, it will bring up any of the printers that are currently on your server and you can select any of, the, any of your tag printers. Pick which tag that you want to print and we'll start from 183 which basically was the first item that we entered in this particular batch. All I have to do is uh, hit print and the item will get printed out to the tag printer. You can then even print out an item list if you'd like to. And then email it, just like we talked about earlier. Another cool feature of the item entry app is the ability to take pictures of items once they've been, uh, if they've already been added in your store or into your system. So for instance, if you have some items out on, this, on, the, uh, on the floor that you'd like to upload to your e-commerce site, it's easy to just go around to your store, enter the item number, 
and start taking photos. But what's cool about the new iPad is that it had the camera is so advanced now that it actually can scan a barcode, which allows you to instantly bring up an item. I'm going to try to show you how that works. First of all, you come up into uh, go to the uh, drop down the menu from the main screen, and you press item lookup. Now, if I had the item number, I could just enter that item in uh, into the system right now. However, in this case, I just want to scan the tag. So if I scan the tag, it brings up the camera. I'm going to pull this up for a second. It hovers over the item, hovers over the scan, uh, the barcode, and then it immediately brings up an item. So now the item appears, and we can just click on the item. It brings up the, all the item detail for that particular item. We associated two photos with that item earlier. However, if I want to, I can add additional photos from the library or take additional photos of that item with the use of the camera. If I put the menu here, I can even copy an item, print that tag for that particular item, or delete that item. All those options are available for you. Okay, everyone. Well, that's the item entry app for Liberty for Consignment on the new iPad. Um, if you'd like to look at some of the items that we just entered in the last few days, you can go to itementrytest.shoprw.com and you can look at some of the, uh, the quality of the pictures and look at some of the items that were entered today. If you have any questions, you can visit our website at www.resaleworld.com. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.